The Germans began building the camp near the Polish village of Brzezinka, or German word for Brucknow, in the autumn of 1941. The Polish residents of Brzezinka had been removed or relocated. Auschwitz was originally planned as a camp for Soviet POWs, but ultimately became the largest center for extermination of Jews and the largest Nazi German concentration camp. This is the infamous main gate for entrance into the camp, as well as the SS guardhouse. This is also the gate through which trains carrying Jews to destruction arrived from mid-May 1944. Once the train entered to Auschwitz, it will stop at the ramp or unloading platform that was central point in the camp. This spot was a destination for trains carrying more than half a million Jewish deportees to Auschwitz. This is an actual train car that brought people to Auschwitz. In the spring of 1944, a new railroad spur in Brucknow ran right up to the gas chamber. This made it possible to speed up and simplify the process of extermination. Immediately after getting off the train, Jews were ordered to line up into two columns, one of women and children and the other of men. Each column was subjected to selections by SS doctors like Joseph Mengel. He had his laboratory on the grounds of the camp. He carried out medical experiments on twins, dwarfs, and persons with different eye colors. The strong and healthy were separated from the old, the sick, and the children. People selected as fit for work were sent to the camp. The others, usually about 75% of a transport, were sent to be murdered in the gas chambers that same day, only several hundred meters away. If you were lucky to be selected to live, then you were sent to the barracks. This barracks is the men's quarantine barracks. Here, men underwent several week-long quarantines. The purpose of this was to terrify the new inmates and accustom them to the strict discipline of the camp. The barracks were adapted from the field stable of the German army and were shipped here in the form of prefabricated components. At least 400 prisoners were housed in one barracks, instead of 52 horses for which the barracks were designed. Barracks were equipped with two kinds of three-level wooded bunks. The prisoners slept on straw scattered on the boards of the bunks without pillows. In periods when the barracks were overcrowded, several people shared a single blanket. Small stoves served to heat the interior, but insufficient to reduce the required amount of heat. The main camp bathhouse building, known as the sauna, also housed equipment for disinfecting clothing. It is located in the vicinity of the gas chambers. The sauna functioned, first of all, as a building for the reception and registration of new arrivals. Here, personal belongings were confiscated, their hair was cut off, they were disinfected and bathed, and they were given camp numbers and uniforms. Jews were subject to a second selection here. Those regarded as incapable of labor, especially pregnant women, were sent to a nearby gas chamber. At this spot, in December 1943, the Germans began operating the largest complex at Auschwitz for storing the belongings of the deported Jews. They were robbed by the Germans in several stages. First, they lost their luggage after arriving at the ramp. Next, as part of the camp reception procedures in the camp bathhouse, the new prisoners lost everything that was still in their possession. Finally, before their death in the gas chambers, deportees had to leave behind in the undressing rooms, their clothing, shoes, valuables, and everything they carried. On their arrival in Auschwitz, most Jews were sent by the SS for immediate death in the gas chambers. However, they were often forced to wait their turn if the gas chambers were full at the time. Most Jews had to wait here in this clump of trees. The operation to exterminate the Jews on a mass scale began in Auschwitz in the first half of 1942. For this purpose, the Germans put into action two provisional gas chambers near the camp in converted farmhouses whose Polish occupants had been expelled. At first, corpses were buried in mass graves. Later, they were burned. Four larger gas chambers with undressing rooms and crematoriums were built on the grounds of the camp and went into operation in the spring of 1943. Before the Nazis fled, it, towards the end of the war, they blew up the crematoriums in an attempt to hide the evidence from the approaching Soviet army. 
The monument commemorating the victims of Auschwitz was erected on the grounds of the former Birkenau camp in 1967. Physically and symbolically, the monument marks the end of the road that during the war led to the gas chambers. There are plaques on the monuments with text in the principal languages spoken by the deportees to Auschwitz.